Hello guys, welcome back to our lectures. In this lecture, we're going to continue our talk about uh, MIPS uh, procedures, especially uh, non-leaf procedures. And, you know, in this example here, in this lecture, we're going to explore the Fibonacci number. And Fibonacci number is another example of, uh, you know, recursion in MIPS. Uh, so basically, Fibonacci series is 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and so on, as we see here. Okay. And basically, any number is this in, in this series is basically the addition of the previous two numbers. Like, for example, 2 is the addition of 1 plus 1, uh, 3 is the addition of 1 plus 2, and so on. Okay. Except for the first uh, two numbers. So, in general, if n is equal to if n minus 1 plus if n minus 2, Fibonacci number n, Fibonacci number, uh, you know, n is equal to Fibonacci number n minus 1 plus Fibonacci number n minus 2. So basically, we're going to give each number here uh, an index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. Okay, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. And for example, if 7 you know, uh, is equal to f6 plus f5, n minus 1 plus n minus 2. So if f7 here is basically 13, and of course 13 is equal to 8 plus 5. Okay, so that's basically a recursion, because if you have a Fibonacci, if you have a, a function called the Fibonacci n, okay, then uh, fib n is basically fib n minus 1 plus fib n minus 2 so two recursive calls basically which will make this procedure a little more complicated than the previous one as we're gonna see so here is an example of uh, you know uh, you know uh, a main function that is that calculates Fibonacci of 4 so again 0 1 uh, 1 2 3 4 uh, I'm sorry this is uh, 5 8 and here in yeah, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So Fibonacci of 4 is 3. Okay. And here is, you know, the Fibonacci recursive function. So basically, if we reach it, uh, Fibonacci of 0 and Fibonacci of 1, we return 0 and 1 respectively. Okay. And then otherwise, we're going to return Fibonacci of n minus 2 plus Fibonacci of n minus 1. So let's see how can we write this in a simpler form so that the conversion to MIPS will be easier. So basically, no problem with the first two lines, but this line here, Fibonacci, uh, return Fibonacci n minus 1 plus Fibonacci n minus, uh, n minus 2 plus Fibonacci n minus 1, is a little bit more complicated and it can be decomposed in simpler, in two simpler instructions or simpler uh, lines. So we can say that, you know, int q equal to Fibonacci n minus 1, int z Fibonacci n minus 2, and then w equal to k q plus c, and then we return w. Okay? So, before we go further here, you know, we want to explore or, you know, examine uh, what kind of, you know, uh, overhead our MIPS uh, will have. First, since we're gonna call n minus 2 and n minus 1, so basically we have n. When we call Fibonacci, we call Fibonacci with n. So we're gonna consider n as a0. Okay. And since we uh, recall Fibonacci and then continues our procedure, so we want to save RA, the register RA, return address, okay. And the same we're gonna use, you know, N-2 again, we should save also uh, A, register A0, because we're gonna, we're gonna use it. And since there is a return from each Fibonacci, so it says save the return. And the return is basically uh, v0. So we're going to put the return of the function in v0. So we send one value and we return one value. 
I forget here the return, sorry. Oh, yeah, it's, it's the return is basically this one. Yeah. So, uh, so before, you know, uh, calling Q fib n minus one, we should do this stuff, this step, so that when we call for uh, the second call, we don't lose anything. So let's explore first, you know, a recursive uh, example with a C, just to explore how complicated it is. Okay. And we're going to explore Fibonacci of 4. Again, Fibonacci of 4 equal to 3. Okay. So we start by Fib of 4. We call Fib of 4. We say that if 4 equal to 1, return 1. Of course, that, does, that doesn't, uh, that's, that's not valid. 4 also doesn't equal to 0, so we will, we will not return 0. But then, NTQ fib 4 minus 1, we can calculate this by, by recalculating, by, by recalling Fibonacci, but now with 3. Again, 3 doesn't equal to 1, 3 doesn't equal to 0. So, we're going to call again Fibonacci of 2. That's the recursion. So when we call Fibonacci of 2, again, 2 doesn't equal to 1, 2 doesn't equal to 0. Then we're going to call Fibonacci of 2 minus 1, which is basically Fibonacci of 1. So, but now with Fibonacci of 1, 1 equal to 1, so we're going to return 1. So when we return, we return that to the same function that, that called Fibonacci of 1, which is Fibonacci of 2. So we could calculate Q in Fibonacci of 2. And now we should calculate z. z is equal to Fibonacci of n minus 2. Remember, n here is 2. This is one of the, you know, called uh, procedures. This is one of the recursive, uh, you know, calls that we did for Fibonacci of 4. So we need to calculate now Fibonacci of 2 minus 2, which is basically Fibonacci of 0. So with Fibonacci of 0, uh, 0 doesn't equal to 1, but 0 does, does equal to 0. So we're going to return 0. So when we return 0 here, we know now Q, we know now Z. Now we can determine W. W is equal to Q plus Z, Z uh, or Z, Z plus Q. Z, 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. So we can return 1. So we could calculate Fibonacci of 2 now. So we can return it back to the, call, uh, to the caller function, which is basically uh, uh, Fibonacci of 3. So we're going to return from Fibonacci of 2 to Fibonacci of 3, and we're going to return to that line here. So we now we go to this line, Fibonacci of 3 minus 2, which is basically Fibonacci of 1. So we're going to recall Fib of 1. 1 is equal to 1, so we're going to return 1. Return 1 to what? Return 1 to, again, Fibonacci of 3. So now we have int Q equal to 1, Z equal to 1. So we can calculate W is equal to 2. And we can return it to. Return it to from what? Return it to from Fibonacci of 3. Who calls Fibonacci of 3? Fibonacci of 4. Fibonacci of 4 called Fibonacci of 3. Now we can calculate Q. Q is equal to 2. Now we're going to go again and calculate uh, Fibonacci of 4 minus 2, which is Fibonacci of 2. So again, we're going to call Fibonacci of, th Fibonacci of 2. It's really complicated. But it's easy to follow. So Fibonacci of 2, 2 doesn't equal to 1, 2 doesn't equal to 0. Okay, so we're going to stop here at Fibonacci of 2 minus 1, which is Fibonacci of 1. We did this before. So 1 is equal to 1, so we're going to return 1. Return 1 to Fibonacci of 2. So uh, we continue now to Z, Fibonacci of 2 minus 2, which is Fibonacci of 0. We're going to call again Fibonacci of 0. We're going to return 0. So again, W is equal to 1 plus 0, which is 1. Okay, who calls this one? Fibonacci of 3. So we're going to go again to Fibonacci, or Fibonacci of 4. I'm sorry, Fibonacci of 4, because Fibonacci of 4. First calls Fibonacci of 3, then calls Fibonacci of 2 here. Fibonacci of 3 was 2. Fibonacci of 2 now is 1. And the 2 plus 1 is 3, return 3. Where we are returning? We are returning from Fibonacci of 4, the original caller. Okay, that's it. So we're going to return it back to main now. And the Fibonacci of 4 is 3. 
same complication and maybe more with the you know the with the assembly code here okay the map says it's really long one okay you have many many lines and here is the complete solution if you follow so i get i give you an example with with lines with uh, line addresses okay I'm assuming the original value that was in RA was 300. This is basically, uh, you know, the return address in the main function. Of course, I didn't include here the main function in the assembly code because it will be really complicated. So I just, you know, uh, I see that it's sufficient to mention only the Fibonacci, uh, you know, uh, procedure. But I didn't show here the main function. Okay. I'm assuming also that SB originally was at location 200. And to check on yourself, you must return back to 200 at the end. Which is the case here. And the final value of, uh, of, of V0, which is basically the return, should be 3. Because Fibonacci of 4 is equal to 3. Okay. So... Let's see here, you know, explore some remarks before we go over this uh, this code. Try to demystify basically the steps here. Okay, so here is the first call. Uh, you know, here is the Fibonacci series uh, Fibonacci procedure start, and here is the first call. This is a recursive call. This is basically int q equal to fib of n minus one okay so what i what i did before this call is i saved of course r a and i saved n and remember n is a zero a zero okay So here is the second call, which is basically int z equal to fib n minus 2. Okay, but you're gonna hear uh, see something you know maybe different. I didn't, uh, you know, uh, so after recalling a note, okay, remember when we saved here, we saved a note minus 1. We do. We didn't save a note. We save a note minus one because we did the save after after subtracting one from a note. So when we recall here, we recall a note which is equal to n minus one. But remember, we want to call Fibonacci of n minus two, and that's what happened here. So when you subtract another minus one from a note, so a note will be equal to n minus two. So it's really you know uh, uh, a tweak. A very simple tweak from the from the C code. Okay. Very simple tweak. So instead of self, you can do you can do exactly like the, the C code, you know. Uh, and in that case here you're gonna you first uh, if you wanna do this exactly, you should first save a note. Uh, so this will come here, and then after saving you subtract, you know, uh, Minus one from a note, and in that case here it will be a note, a note minus two, not minus one. Okay. And at the end of the procedure, we return, uh, and also yeah, yeah, that's really good to uh, to remember. Uh, we also saving here, uh, or here, yeah, saving. V0 because after the return from the first call we saved some value in V0 in the return value so we should save it in V0 before the second call after the second call here okay you just add you know uh, Q and W remember Q Z equal to Q and W Z or a W equal to q plus z q is fibonacci n minus 1 z is fibonacci 
n minus 2. Okay? This is now saved in T0. I'm sorry, saved in the stack for, from that step. And in here, after the recall it, we recall it not in V0, but we recall it in T0. So T0 here equal to V0 from the first. So this is basically in the stack. And when we return it, we return it to T0. And if Fibonacci n minus 2 is original in v0 and it will keep it will be there in v0 all the time. So you can say that v0 is equal to v0 plus t0. So this is basically w equal to q plus z. But q now is in t0. And z is basically z uh, is v0. And we can return uh, R A from the stack and remain, you know, add for the stack pointer to return it to its original position and jump register R A. And here is the first two conditions if n equal to 1 or if n equal to 0, go to finish 0, in which we're going to return 0, and if n equal to 1, we go to finish 1, in which, you know, we're going to return 1. Okay, guys. So, uh, one note here that we see also in the stack, in some locations, I have two values. Basically, it's not two values. It's basically over a value that was overwritten. So, for example, for example, in line one, in li here, in that case, when, uh, or in that case, in that case, yeah. When you move from 180 to 176, we store 1. Okay, and the stack pointer was here. Then we read this one and move the pointer to 180 to here. Then we add 4 again to a stack, the stack pointer and store another value which was happens to be 1. Okay. So that's basically uh, what happens here. So basically, this is this overwrite this, and this one overwrite the two, and this two overwrite three, and this two overwrite the two. Okay, so that's basically how we can read this, uh, you know, this uh, uh, this table here. Okay, so basically we cannot store two values in the same location. But I'm saying that we basically uh, a value that overwrite another value. Okay, guys, this is basically it's gonna be a homework for you to follow. This is basically correct. And if you see any discrepancy, just let me know in the comments in this video. I can't go over this, uh, you know, this code step by step because it's really complicated. Okay, so just have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, and you know. Uh, try to do this yourself and I, I just you know bought here the solution for you you just need to go over it you know step by step it's really long it's really long how much we're gonna save into the stack just look at the stack pointer 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 20, 21 times okay that 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 shows that it's really long and complicated okay thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video bye bye